Hey, what's going on everyone? So what I was doing here is just showing a video or recording a video of my experience visiting the circuits of America. And this area right here is the entrance area. Um, never been here before, so I'm just, just hanging out, just checking out the races, just enjoying the cars, just, you know, going really fast right in front of us. And they're loud and accelerating, really nice. Now, if you notice the building that's right across from the video is a three-story building. That's called a padlock, P-A-D-D-O-C-K. And that's where the garages are at, at the bottom. That's where the pit crews are located and the team members of the racing teams. And um, didn't know we can go back there, but later on you'll see in the video and uh, got to experience that area as well. These are really nice rides racing is really cool now this is a new race right here this was the second race right here as you can see that's the first lap all, of them are, all the race cars are together and they're going up on what they call turn number one and it's an uphill turn and it's a very technical left turn that these drivers need to you know accomplish and uh, it's really tough and then they go downhill this is called the Velocity Lounge. So it's really cool to check this place out. It's got a bar. Everybody can relax inside there. It's free. You can go in there. It's got video games for the kids or anybody. And you actually get to see the race on the screen as well if you want to be more comfortable. This is a bridge that's close to the tower. And the tower is this huge, huge tower. You can go up there and see it, uh, get a sky view of the whole circuit. And it, it was just really nice. Just really enjoyed the race cars just you know, racing down the track and getting to see them go underneath the bridge. So it was really cool. And you can see how difficult those turns are for these drivers, these really professional drivers. Uh, this is the, the bridge you see right there towards the back area. That's the bridge we ran. And this is the tower right here. So it's a very tall tower. I forgot what height it is, but it's like $10 to get in. And it's also got a glass floor so you can see through it as well. And you can check out the race. So that's turn number one right there. That little area right there. And you'll notice that you get to see the track for the carts at the very back right there. It's like a parking lot. But um, anyways, it's really, really fun to check out the race on the tower and just see the whole view of the circuit, of the racing circuit. And also you can see a little bit of landscaping of Austin and some of San Marcos. So this area going towards them, going towards the back of the tower You'll see the parking lot for the vehicles and then towards the left of that parking lot that's where the go-karts are at so you can race go-karts there as well that view of landscape is what i was told it was san marcos and you'll see right here towards the back you'll see the soccer field so i had no idea there was a soccer field until i got up there on the tower so it's really cool Racing cars just racing down the track on the tower, seeing the getting the view of the tower, and uh, just enjoying the sight. It's really nice. There's more footage right there of the race cars turning on the turn number one. and try to advance on the positions. That's looking through Bastrop or towards Bastrop, if you're wondering. So 
back on the bridge again, to, close to the tower, and it was really fun to see these vehicles just go underneath the bridge. And as, as we were walking back to the pad dock, got to see some really nice cars. It was a Camaro, SS, and y'all know me, I love Porsche, so I get to see a nice Porsche 914. Here's a race car, Porsche 911. Just admiring the beauty of this vehicle. And then got to go to the BMW team side and check out the M2. So these vehicles were also racing during that day. And this was a whole weekend event, so it was really fun. It's just a beautiful vehicle. It was too much glare on the glass, so sorry you couldn't see the whole interior inside, but it's really nice. So this is the pad dock area in the back area. So this is where all the action's at. That's why when we entered at the entrance, it was really dead. There wasn't that, that many people because everybody's over here checking out the rides. So these Mustangs are getting prepped up, ready for the next race. I'm pretty sure these technicians here are just making sure the race vehicles or cars and these Mustangs are getting uh, checking the tuning, make sure everything's okay. So those race cars that you were just looking at earlier today or earlier on the video, uh, they just finished the race. So I was able to see all these vehicles back here at the pad dock area. There was some Ferraris. That black one's a Mercedes-Benz GL63. I think it's a GL63 or SLC63. So, there's more Porsches here. So there's a Porsche team. Pretty cool setup that they have. The trailers look really nice. There goes an Aston Martin, got to check out. And then there goes the Ferraris again, They're putting them back into the garage. see one of those team members pushing the vehicle into the garage now this is the second day and this is where I got to go to the pit area and this is right before the race so they give you like an hour or 30 minutes to check out the vehicles talk to the drivers talk to the team members and if you're wondering, they have the wheels off. They're just, just showing off their vehicles to the public. There goes a Bentley, really nice. And uh, they'll put the wheels back on there, and then they start racing. They'll let the whole public to leave the pit area at a certain time right before the race. So then... Now we're still in the pad dock area, but on the second floor. And then this is the first lap of the new race that was happening. Again, this was the second day. So there goes that turn number one. It's a really cool uphill turn. So we're on the other side of turn number one. And it was really cool. Got to see those vehicles really close up as they're driving by. That straightaway, from what I was told by the drivers, it's an average around 160 miles an hour. So, pretty quick. So, one of those yellow Ferraris wrecked on turn number one. So, we went to go and check it out. Not too sure what happened. He spun out. Someone hit him in the back and damaged the wheel. And he got disqualified. So they're already done for the day. 
the Bentley also wrecked somewhere in, in a different part of the racetrack. But man, I could just imagine how much that costs. And they're towing off that vehicle. So I hope y'all enjoyed it.